Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my What Sold video which will be for last week, Monday through Thursday, uh, January 29th through February 1st. Y'all, my sales are just still plodding along better than expected, so I'm thrilled at this point. But let me tell you a story. We went to the Goodwill Bins today in Asheville. We've been messing with the new GoPro, trying to figure out the best way to help me record better videos. So we thought we'd go there and test it out and get a little bit of shopping done. We hadn't been there maybe 30 minutes and they came up to me and asked us to quit recording that they do not allow uh, body cams in their establishment. So it wasn't great sourcing. So I put some of the stuff that I was on the fence about back and we left. We left. I probably won't go back unless I just have, have a, a want, I guess, to go bin shopping there. But it's pretty much difficult to get great stuff there anymore. So it's an hour and a half drive for us. So I'm not overly upset about it. But it was annoying. It was annoying. Because I've done it before with no issue. But I guess this is their new rule. Or somebody complained. But y'all, I'm short. The camera's pointed down into the bins. I'm not going to be showing very much of people. I'm not sure who had an issue with it. So, unfortunately, that probably will be the last time I actually go to that bins. Yard sale season is right around the corner. I still have estate sales to go to at times. And y'all know, I still have bins bags. So... I still have stuff to make videos for you guys with, so I just was kind of hoping, you know, just to get some different footage for the, the new channel. And for those of you who don't know, we started a second channel. It's called The Rebel Pickers, and it's just showing us right now mostly doing bins shopping in St. Louis when we were there in December. But as yard sale season starts and estate sales you know, we'll hopefully be able to do some more shopping like that. I just hope it's not a trend thing where more and more people are not, are going to request us not to record. I don't know. Lots of you have made comments. I made a post about it in my Facebook group. Lots of people have been telling me about Hustle at Home, Mom's glasses. My thing is, y'all know, I need my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. You know, I don't wear them for this kind of stuff, but in order to be able to see, I, I have to wear glasses. So unless I can figure out a way to get them prescription, you know, that's not going to work for me either. So you know, I'm still, still trying to learn all of this stuff, especially the, the picking part. Cause you know, I enjoy this channel and the hauls that I can just show you from right here in the comfort of my basement. But I know some people like the picking videos, and it was just an opportunity for us to, you know, see if the new ca camera angles and the things that we changed on the camera settings was going to help. So, all right, let me just go ahead. Before I get started, though, just another topic. Lots, I see lots and lots of people um, posting that their cells are really, really down. Um, I get lots of comments in my, you know, in, in my videos. I'm just going to reiterate the things that I do. Um, not everybody wants to do what I do, but I just thought I'll remind people, these are the things that I do, and I think it helps in the algorithm. First and foremost, I run sales. I always have a sell. It's just an automatic. I do a Monday through Thursday sell, usually just 10%. And then I do Friday through Sunday, 10%. It just kind of gives that cutoff where people think the sale is going to end and they want to go ahead and purchase the item. I have offers on everything. Everything. It's just people want to know, you know, that they can give you an offer what they think they would like to pay for. It. And sometimes, sometimes it's not very much less than what I already have it listed for. And that's fine. I'm happy accepting offers. I send offers all the time. Most mornings I wake up to about maybe 50 to 100 items that I can send offers out on. This 
month, well, this, since the beginning of the year, my new strategy is also when sending out offers, if that item has been listed for more than a year, I'm sending 20, 25, even 30% off offers, but I am turning off the ability for them to send me a counter offer. Um, I think that price is going to be acceptable. So I'm just, I, I don't want to have somebody, you know, send me back a counter offer of something that I already sent them a 30% off plus my 10% sell um, and not realize what I'm doing and accept even a smaller thing on it. Because sometimes it's just, you know, I, I accept offers that are a couple of bucks less. Um, so I send them out all day long, all day. It's the last thing I do when I'm done for the day also is send out all offers. Um, I check comps. A lot of times when I get an offer, especially if it's less than what I expected or, you know, I have it listed for 30 and they send me a $20 offer or even something less. Sometimes the market's just gone down. Sometimes that thing has been listed forever and I need to be more willing to go look at the comps and make sure that it's, you know, reasonable. Um, but sometimes I take an offer that's less than I wanted because I think, you know, why not? Make it gone. Make the algorithm happy that I'm accepting all these offers. Um, and y'all know I don't pay for a whole lot. I'm making a profit on it. So that's what I tend to do. And a lot of people ask if I promote. I promote everything. I have just a, a blanket one. It's, it's going into an automatic um, promotion anytime I list anything. And what I have it set at is, I have it so that it's that, the you, it used to be called trending or whatever it's called now. I can't remember right off the top of my back. I have it on, off the top of my head. I have it set on that. Dynamic, I think is the word. Um, but I have it capped at 8%. And a lot of plush I noticed this week when I was listing, the suggested promotion is like 12 or 13%. I'm not going to go that high. It's capped at 8%. So probably about 70% of my items sell in the promoted category. So most of them are an additional 8%. So it's just, fees are a cost of doing business. We're going to pay them. It's just, you know, what you feel comfortable with for your business but it seems to be working for me. So I'm going to just share my strategies. And then also I do end and sell similar every single day. Anything that's ending that day, I'm going to um, go ahead and end it before it rolls over and do sell similar. Right now, I'm actually adjusting all of my prices down just a little bit for those things that have been listed for over a year. Um, it's just, you know, every once in a while I do that. Just go ahead and lower the price a little bit more and hopefully, you know, making that change and doing the sell similar. I'm selling a lot of bread and butter, y'all. A lot. A lot. And I've got some, I'm sh share some of that with you right now. So let's get to it. Hope that helps y'all. Mercari. Mercari, one sale. It was a good sale, but one sale. This is a Douglas black and white horse. It sold for $28. Poshmark. This is a viewer sale, and this is Tracy, but this is a different Tracy. Um, Tracy bought three things for me from me. She paid $44 for the bundle. She picked up this Atlanta novelty rubber-faced monkey, this IKEA gray elephant, and this oh, love these little rust dogs. There's a, this is the mini. It's only three and a half inches long. There's one that's a little bit bigger. Love these. So she made me an offer of $44 for all three of these plush. So thank you very much, Tracy. And then Wowie White Tiger Cub. I like picking up the Wowies if they're clean. And a lot of times, you know, hopefully they work when I test them. Um, funny thing with this thing is though when it sold it wasn't an ebay and for me everything starts on ebay and then i cross list so you know 
if something sells on another platform, it has to be on eBay, except I accidentally deleted 200 listings last year, and I'm doing an inventory right now. So the good thing with Poshmark is, is it carries over my bin number, my inventory number, and I was able to walk out to my building and make sure I still had it, and I had. So this would have never sold on eBay. I'm trying to catch a lot of this with my inventory. Almost every time I inventory three or four or five baskets, I'm bringing probably five things back over here that are no longer on eBay. The good thing is, is with List Perfectly, because I use List Perfectly to cross list, um, I'm able to, like, if it's still on Poshmark, I can cross list it back to eBay. No problem. I haven't lost my pictures. I just have to reweigh it and put in, a, you know, a few item specifics. But yeah, it, List Perfectly has saved me more hassle if I had, you know, deleted all of these items and have to take all the pictures again. So thank goodness. All right. But this tiger sold for $16. And then this Barrington Anniversary Bear sold for $12. Y'all, look, I have an Etsy sale. Etsy, and it's my best sale of the four days. Um, I'm down to about 35 items left that will be expiring at the end of this month. And then I'm going to let Etsy um, sit for a while, um, probably to like September. And then I think I'll go ahead and just bombard it again with tons of listings, especially of my higher dollar vintage plush and let it go through the fourth quarter and then let it end again. I just don't make enough sales there to just keep 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 it going all year long. And I may not even do that. I'm still on the fence about it. But nevertheless, Fisher Price Squeaker Doll from 1990, $80.95 for a little six inch plush. And then eBay. Lots and lots of bread and butter, y'all, but lots of good plush, too. I, I'm still in awe of how well my cells are doing. But this first one is a Russ Yorkie Dog plush. It was something that got listed before last year. So $15 offer. Make it gone. Play School Teletubbies. This is kind of sad, though, because they're they have just really dropped in value. There was a time I used to be able to sell these for 30, 40 bucks. And now this one sold for $14 and 51 cents. It is one of the talking Teletubby Poe plush. This was a Ben's pickup. Y'all, I'm doing tons of listing of smalls. Smalls. This is SpongeBob SquarePants. It was called the Posable Switch'em, kind of like Mr. Potato Head. Um, and it sold for $13.45 very quickly. I'm sharing this one with you. $5.03, but y'all, I picked up 25 of these. I paid a quarter each. It's going to take a really long time for them to sell, but I've already sold five of them. And at Five five dollars or more each, you know, it's worth. They don't take up a whole lot of space. But this is Get Along Gang birthday decoration. It's one of those tissue paper honeycomb table centers, and I just I had to save them. I love the vintage stuff, so but five dollars. Fisher Price Singamajig, you know, I pick these up if they're Fisher Price. The other, the newer ones are by Basic Fun. If they're really clean, I may make an exception for them, but mostly I try to focus on the Fisher Price ones of these. And this one sold for $16.16. .16. Also, if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $16.16, .16, the buyer did pay extra for shipping. Elmer Patchwork um, Plush. There is uh, a larger version of this. I want to say maybe it's Kohl's, but this was a smaller six inch size. The book is called Elmer. The author is David McKee. Um, I picked up like three of the larger ones when I was in uh, Connecticut for Robert's Black Belt Test, um, but I hadn't found the smaller one in a while, and it sold very quickly, $9.86. 
This is from my Wizard of Oz estate sale stuff I picked up. This was a salt and pepper shaker and I got an offer of $16. Make it gone. I did so well with the Wizard of Oz stuff. I'm just basically trying to clear out that tote at this point. Um, this is Manhattan Toys. Love the brand. Um, I have found these Twiggies a couple of times. This one wasn't listed very long, sold for $13.45. MJC, Perfection by MJC. It's another one of those brands. I don't find it very often, but they are very cute, good quality, vintage. Um, this was a little raccoon lying flat, sold for $10.45. Russ Scraps. I knew he was special when I found him. I tend to pick up most vintage Russ Applause Dagen. Um, but he had his little suede um, collar. And I had I remember having him before. And that was significant to the um, price of this plush. And he sold very, very quickly for me for $30. Walmart. Love Walmart, especially the older stuff. This was a curly ta tan bear, 13 inch, with this cute little dress, sold for $16.12. I noticed that spacing air issue right there in my title. This was a white bear plush. Um, I don't guess I had a manufacturer. Oh, it says no manufacturer on tag. Um, sold for $20.17. Those tend to be harder to sell. It's got to be for somebody who's just looking for something, you know, a white bear with hearts. These sat in a buried pile forever, and I finally, going through all of my stuff right now, found them, cleaned them up a little. But these are some lined Crocs, sold for $13.72, very quickly. Just another example, y'all. I'm listing tons and tons and tons of smalls by themselves a lot of times until I can find something to go with it that's reasonable. Um, but this was just a little Christmas ornament, two and a half inches tall, sold very, very quickly for $6 best offer. Plus shipping. Care Bears, I pick up a lot. Um, to be honest, the more contemporary stuff seems to sell faster for me than the vintage. Although I love the vintage and I'll always pick them up. But this is True Heart. It's from 2004. $8.96. Jumbo Tigger Plush 26 inch. Took a, a best offer of $15 for it. It had some condition issues. I probably could have got a little bit more for it if it had been in better condition. But again, it was one of those, I don't even think it was listed a week, and it's gone. Kelly Toy, My First Bear. I pick a lot of these up. This one had the added benefit of still having its paper tag attached, and it sold for $17.95. Madewell T-shirt dress sold for $13.00. Mattel, Minnie Mouse, um, these are the Snap and Style Fisher Price toys. Um, they're the, the dresses just kind of click onto them. Um, been listed a little while. Um, got a best offer of $25, which I just decided to make it gone. This was, I had a shelf over here of just CDs and cassettes and movies and VHS that I just hadn't gotten to. I just kept pitching them on this little shelf over here. I cleared it. It's cleared. I've got almost an entire shelf that's almost empty that I have just really, really been focusing on this week. And this was a Run DMC Raising Hell cassette, and it sold for $7.25. Dolly Teddy Betty Bear Nursery Wall Hanging. I want to see I picked this up at a yard sale this past summer. Um, sold for $25. Here's a, let me, I'm going to have to take off this price, but I'll show you guys what it looked like. Right here. 
Look how cute. That's from the box. I didn't hang it up. Levi's 559 men's jeans, $17.71. Now, these sat in a box forever. They were over here. They got buried, and I sorted them all out, took pictures, counted them, and they sold the same day that I listed them. These are Bachman Easy Track HO Scale tracks, and I had gray ones and black ones. They both sold instantly, as I'll just say like Robert says, right item, right price, right buyer, because, you know, you you can't say what if. What if I underpriced them? I got a really good price for these, and they sold $65. And then here's the black ones. Sold instantly for $29.95. Fisher Price Little People Chunky ones. Picked up a tote of these at the Habitat Restore sometime last year, I think. I want to say I paid $50, but it was packed with all things Fisher-Price Chunky, and these two figures sold for $10. Sir Winston Churchill Pub Stein, Robert picked this up not too long ago at an estate sale, sold for $9.86. Gund, Curious George, again, I think this was in a recent haul from the Goodwill Bins, very quickly, $8.96. Playful Pals Mervins. I've been finding kind of funny. I found quite a few of these plush this past year. I don't know if I'd ever found them before. This one sold, the cat sold for $13.45. Lands in Men's Jacket, $19.99. Gund Tender Beginnings Giraffe. Sold for $16.12. Lots of plush, y'all. Dansko, hiking shoes. Every year this woman has a yard sale not far from my house. And it's all of these types of shoes. They're always these like size 40. I think that's like a 9, 9 and a half, 10, somewhere in there. And she sells them for like 5 bucks. And I tend to buy a lot from her. And these sold for $40.46. Bear Plush Reindeer from LTD Commodities, $10.45. FAO Schwartz, just doesn't get the love, but the tiger sold for $19.76. Big Smith Youth Overalls sold for $13.21. Dandy Rabbit Lovey sold for $11. Lots of bread and butter. Jimmy Disney Winnie the Pooh, one of those animated plush. Um, again, I listed it sometime last month, and it already sold for $16.15. Smithsonian Backyard Chipmunk, $11.66. Royal Robins Men's Shirt, $16.81. Jelly Bean Candy Dish. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This thing's been listed for, I don't know, years. Years. But it finally sold for $16.12. Thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry purchased my Precious Moments Angel Tree Topper that I picked up at the bins. It was like the box was here, the doll was here, and I got them back together. And then she picked up these little Kusa figures from me. The total of the order is $36.81. So thank you so much, Sherry. Backyardigans. I tend to pick up most things backyardigans. This one had some stickers missing and some scratches and stuff. Um, but I tend to do well with them. This Musical guitar, $20.66. Gund Gudetama Lazy Egg Plush sold for $15. Animal Adventure Gray Rabbit Bread and Butter, $8.02. Another 
thing from the Wizard of Oz estate sale. These were the little four inch figures from 1988 and it sold for $22.45. Rampage women's dress sleeveless. This had been listed for a while and it sold for $26.71. Build-A-Bear, I've been making small lots of two, three, maybe four pieces and listing them for like $15 or $20. This little uh, Christmas dress and cute sweater sold for $13.45. Another sweater by Yarnworks sold for $14.38. Large variety of stuff, y'all. This um, person bought two items from me, bought a Build-A-Bear Elmo and this blue snowflake bear for $19.45. Thai Pluffies, love them, pick them up, even without their ear tags. This one does have its tag, sold for $11.66. Jackrabbit Dance Rabbit Plush, sold for $12.11. I just picked this up at the Goodwill Bins. This was one of the signature series Webkins. It was the Rat raccoon and it sold very quickly for twenty dollars and twenty cents barney figures i've been doing lots of small lots of figures and these two sold for eight dollars and two cents now my two best sales on ebay were these adio adio black sneakers they've been listed over a year over a year um, we paid $20 for them. They were new. They hadn't been used. Um, I think the size was just off, and I couldn't. I got lots of low, low, low offers, but I decided with when I got this $75 offer that it was just time to let them go. I could have waited longer, but $75 for a pair of sneakers I thought was very good. And then... One of my St. John dresses that I picked up at my favorite little estate sale. I think I picked this up on maybe the $2 day, but it could have been the $5 day. So I'll just say maybe I paid $5 for it. I actually think I have another piece that could have gone with it, but I've decided for a lot of these, I'm going to start selling them separately because I keep getting messages, will you split this? I only need this part or that. So from I think from this point on, even if I have matching set stuff, I'm going to go ahead and separate them. But I got an $80 offer on the St. John dress, and I was thrilled, thrilled. We don't find these kinds of clothes very often, so can't beat that. All right, y'all. I've got so much to get done. Didn't get all my listing done this morning. For some reason, I was having computer problems. Could not get my photos to download. So I'm going to go upstairs and get some more of my listings done. I'm trying to do at least 30 a day. Um, and it's paying off. It's paying off. Another one of those things. Just list, list, list. All right. Get to work. Bye.